what is going on guys it is skyfaith here bringing you a real quick video um this video is going to be a tutorial about the new players especially from like ca or just like give you guys a little piss depth in review that i can give you um i'm not the greatest player i'm decent i don't think i'm great uh a lot of tips that i didn't get when i was first started when i purchased this game and I uh, just want to give you this little video so I can help. So, first thing I want to do, uh, uh, actually, let's go to console. Uh, to get this, this is called your console. Uh, to get this, you want to go to options, game settings, enable developer console. Is the tilde, you want to hit yes. Um, yeah, so you want to get that. Also, with everything else, hang on, wait one second. Okay, um, also with everything else you want to do, go to, alright, that, you just want to enable that for right now. Uh, we're going to click on offline with bots. Okay, we're just going to go to dust 2, click go. I'm not going to get no bots, but this helps, especially when you, uh, um, start to learn the actual game. Uh, if you want to go harmless, where they don't shoot at you, um, easy, medium, hard, or extreme bots, it helps. Uh, whenever you get like free chances you don't think you're prepared to match make, uh, I highly recommend not match making. Especially right off the start. So, right now we're just gonna go to no bots. Okay, um, trying a new program on this. I'm actually using OBS to record this. And let's see if this actually helps out. If it doesn't, no, well, no biggie. Uh, on that note, we're gonna keep on going. Okay. Anyway, uh, my screen's kind of messed up, but not a big deal. Okay. Actually, yeah, it is. It's bugging me. And let me reconnect to it. If it's gonna do the same thing, then I will have to close out and restart this whole video. So let's hopefully it doesn't do it this time and we won't fail like we did before. And we'll find out, right? No. Nope. We're good. Okay. Alright, first thing first. Uh what I want you to do is hit the tilde. That's your t right above the tab, right beside the one. Uh and type in if you do this, S V underscore cheats one. And no, this is not hacking or anything. This is just gonna give you a preview. You can do no clip where you can roam the map. You can do all this other stuff. Which is pretty cool. Um anyway we're we're gonna do we're gonna hit the tilt again and we're gonna type in give space weapon oops weapon underscore AK forty seven. This is the main gun you wanna be able to you're gonna be using so we wanna focus on this. Um first thing you can watch other videos and everybody goes in depth with this and the recoil spray and all this kind of stuff. But one thing I want to make sure, and I cannot stress to you enough, and this will get you another step ahead of everybody else that just bought the game. And again, I'm making this video just because of the CA players that decided, hey, my friends, everybody else got CSGO, so why not hop over to CSGO? So this is just going to be going to give you a couple little tips on what to do. First things first, um, you got to be stop. You, this is not CA. This is not CA where you can move around and you can just be like, oh, there's a guy here. And, shoot. and it, you can see by the bullets, it's not like CA where it stays in close by the reticle and the crosshair. And I'll go over the crosshair into another video. So hopefully I'll put up two videos here then. Um, but we'll see. Uh, first things first, make sure you're standing still when you're shooting, okay? You're not ready, when you first get the game, you're not ready for do the AD, 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 AD spray. Um, what I want to say is, you want to be standing still when you shoot. That doesn't mean where you're coming over here to mid. And you're gonna be like, hey, there's a guy here. Let's stand right in the open and, and just kinda 
shoot them down. It don't work that way. Okay. You gotta be able to... I wanna say control the spray, but you gotta also be ready to... Uh, you gotta be standing still. Well, that's actually a first step. Anyway, what I was getting into is stand still before you shoot. Um, tap firing, this is, like I said, this is not CA. Uh, maybe if you tap too fast, you get that, like, I want to say burst kind of feel. That's kind of like in CSGO, but only it's like a little, it's a lot slower. The AK takes a while to refresh, if I, that makes sense. So, what we're going to do right here, at this wall, um, we're just going to show you the recoil pattern. We're going to play right here this, beside this barrel, and we're just going to shoot, we're going to spray. I'm not going to move the mouse, I'm just holding down the left click. So, as you can see, it goes directly up, and then kind of tails over to the right, comes right back up to the left, and finishes off right in the middle. So, to do this, the first couple bullets right here is a straight line, so you want to be able to pull down. So, first couple bullets is, is straight down before it goes left to right. So, it's like, right, all I did is pull down a little bit, and I'm standing still. And it's right there. I mean, uh, let me type in SV infinite ammo real quick. And let's do it again. Uh, so we just get some more ammo. Anyway, um, yeah, so that is, I'm standing still in recoil. The recoil is right on it. So, for example, if you're going to be going uh, left to right, down, that's not as smooth and consistent as is if you're standing still. Okay, uh, now, if you're going to be going to pick here on plant while you're at long A, uh, I recommend tapping, maybe doing a two shot burst, or maybe a three, a three shot burst. It's all about bursting and spraying. Me, I spray longer distances than I should. Uh, I don't, I really do not recommend that because you got to kind of perfect the spray, and what I want to say, going back to this, I'm sorry I keep on getting off topic, but as in the recoil, you want to be able to do counteract exactly what you just did. So you're going to pull straight down, and then you're going to go a little bit to the right, and you're going to go a little bit to the left. Since it goes up a little bit to the right, you want to go a little bit to the right. To counteract it, you want to go a little bit to the right, and you want to go hard left, and you want to go hard right once again. Okay just for the fact it will kind of look like this right let me find it right here i'm not the best at it but i hardly uh if you hold down if you just pull down that recoil will be more towards your head you can't pull down and i'm not saying and i used to do this a lot when i first started i'd pull straight down to the ground and i'm only shooting the feet which really was retarded but you want to give it nice decent distance I would say about I don't know about an inch or so uh, a couple maybe a half an inch let's say that a half an inch the pull down it all depends on the distance um, like here if I want to spray you want to push it down uh, let me do a show impacts see right here I mean it's pretty, I want to say, it's hard to spray that right there, that is not a good reason to actually, oops. it's not a good actual place to spray, I recommend bursting, maybe do a four shot, five shot spray, but that's it. But anyway, what I was saying, the main goal is to stand still before you shoot, every time you see me shoot, you, hear, you see me stand still. And my bullets stay consistent where my crosshair is. Um, to tap fire, tap firing in this game is a lot different too. Like I said earlier, you want to keep a nice, nice little tap fire. That's about as fast as you can go. See, I kind of one real quick second, I end up my bullet goes. If I go too fast, it kind of tends off to go off it on its own. So that's just a waste of a shot compared to they have all, all the shots on to you. Um, 
Another thing is crosshair placement. I still have a lot of troubles with this. Um, crosshair placement is pretty much imagining where the team or the opponent is going to be at, say, if this guy's at car waiting for you to come here, you can kind of predict that, okay, he's going to be right here. And you can just, once you peek out, he's right behind the car. So it's kind of giving you another advantage of actually peeking. Um, another thing with this is, I want to go into this, is like distances to spray, burst, whatever. Okay, let's go, for example, hang on, let me give myself a smoke grenade. Smoke grenade. Okay. Okay. Did I not get it? I guess I didn't. Uh, I don't know why I'm not getting it. It's weird. Anyway, I say this place is smoke right here. Okay. Or even if long double doors is smoke. Okay. And you want to spray it down. Uh, I would recommend spraying this here because it's a decent distance to actually spray compared to spraying this distance right here. And I think you are all are smart enough to, you know, uh, get the feel of where to spray, where to burst, that kind of deal. I recommend bursting a lot, uh, especially do like a three to two tap burst or three bursts. I don't recommend tapping. If I want to learn tapping a little bit earlier, that's I'm gonna say that would have been a lot easier for myself. But you, bursting helped me a lot. If you do a two shot burst to a, a three, it's still all roughly in the rough or same region. If there's a person on long, for example, if you're trying to take long, you're in pit. You're trying to peek the box or anywhere else. It helps a lot. And if you want to go here on the plat, long plat, it might look like I'm moving, but I'm actually counter strafing. And what counter strafing is, let me do this infinite ammo so I can get more ammo. Um, Alright. Oops. Okay. Um, what counter strafing is, is what you do in CSGO, you. Your guy, I'm just tapping the D key, okay? I hit the D key, and he kind of keeps going, okay, for a second, as you can see. Um, to, you need a counter strafe is what it's called uh, by tapping the opposite of key. So if I hit D, you got to stop your character with A. And if I go left, I hit A, you got to stop it with D. So example, you're going D, tap A, A, tap D. D tap A, A tap D. And it takes a while to perfect this. It just, I, I don't know, it, it takes, a, it took me a while to actually get used to that. And I want to say, if you do that, that's, that's going to get you another step compared to where you should be started at. So for example, uh, you're just going to fill it in with like a three shot burst here. Uh, if you're, it helps especially when you're moving and it's harder for the other team to actually hit you. So if you're just going counter strafing back and forth, it's a lot more difficult. You see, okay, that last one, right there's my last bullet. I kind of didn't stop, so that's why the bullet kind of went off a little bit. So if you want to counter strafe... So yeah, I'm count uh, just I'm counter strafing, hitting the opposite key to keep make sure I'm stopped completely. That will help you a lot in the future too. Um, for example, if I'm just I'm just shooting here, I'm just counter strafing with a three shot, two shot burst. Okay. Okay. You saw when it didn't stop. Or actually, that I hold my mouse is different, and the one bullet went completely up here, and that's because I was either stop, I wasn't stop, or I held uh, my left click a little bit too long. Um, yeah. So if you follow these steps, you will be guaranteed after your first five, uh, first ten wins, you will guarantee a W. 
uh, at least your first three, four games. So I highly recommend you doing that. And please, 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 please remember this. If anything, if you don't remember anything else in the video, just remember, please stand still when you shoot. Uh, I don't care if you're moving to take a snipe, stand still when you shoot. Okay, that's going to help a lot. So, on that note, I will be catching you guys later, and hopefully I will see you guys soon.